everything is made from the next creation. Yes, we are looking at the Expo and Expo 2023 Doha. When we talk about the next Expo, uh, Expo, we never fail to mention what you call the higher card or what you call the higher visas. But again, the question was coming in from one of the viewers, and the question is that uh, how do you benefit? What do you benefit from what you call volunteering? Yes, we had very many experiences for people who are doing what you call the white card. It was a very good experience. I personally speaking myself, I worked as a volunteer in the World Cup. Yes, I had some benefits. Uh, look at free tickets matches that I watched. I was able to get a higher card. I have a higher card. I can invite anyone to come. I can sponsor anyone to come, apparently. That's one benefit, I would say. Yes, most of the times, when we do this kind of work, for example, when you look at the volunteering work, we are definitely looking at what you call the money. Yes, the money may be the first number one priority, but later on, as time keeps on moving, you realize that there's something that you benefited that is more than someone who did not take the first question, or someone who did not even participate in any way or the other. I think most of you will understand with me. Yes, sometimes we have what you call the higher expectations. The expectations versus what you call the reality of it. Yes, apparently, let us first try to look at uh, the whole issue of the World Cup. For people who are being recruited from outside, benefited. Because they may are working what you call shorter period, three months, six months, or twelve, but earning higher or earning more salary compared to the people who are locally, who were hired on what you call a work visa or what you call a visa sponsorship. But something that definitely you also need to understand that the, those volunteer jobs at that time during the World Cup were a for shorter period of time. Those that were so lucky at that time would get at six months. Those who were unlucky would have at three months. But knowing that out of those three months or six months, you are going to be earning what is even bigger than what the person locally hired, sponsored by that company. Yes, there are a lot of things in between, but let us not try to go into the details of that. Volunteering itself, first of the added advantage I'll give you, it gives you exposure. It gives you the experience, the exposure that you need to see what other people, what other cultures behave like, what other people have to offer, what can you learn from the other people. That is one experience. I personally, myself, with all my experience, that I would definitely say this is what I call. We meet different kind of people. They will approach us. They will see us from the distance. They will recognize us from the distance. They will see and notice us from the distance. That is one thing that you need to know. Something that I always tell people is that do the work with passion and people by yourself. Do it with what you call the love. Do it with what you call the liking. Do it with that kind of passion that you're doing something that you enjoy. At the end of it all, you never want to be cool. Look at the different diversity of culture that you get to meet. We meet different people, we know how they live, we know how to enjoy. People who were there for the World Cup, therefore you can tell you, you can really remember the atmosphere that existed at that time. Where people would sing from this end, loud music shouting all of joy from one corner of the country to an extreme end corner of the other of the same country. Travel from border to border. I personally got an opportunity to travel to Brussels to another border because of the volunteer, which I would not have got at that time. Okay, now we are looking at what we call the expo right now. The advantage is that you meet different people. You'll meet different employers. Be yourself. You never know what comes out tomorrow. That person will look on to you. He'll recognize you from the distance. And you never know. The next day you get to approach that person, you'll be the friendship. The day you need that person, you'll definitely say, Come, I'm able, I'm willing, or I'll do for you this, and I'll definitely do it. Miracles don't happen. But how to start is just getting you prepared. 
Look at the skills definitely, what you get out the skills. You get a lot of skills. How to deal with pressure, how to deal with a lot of things, how to deal with this, how to go with this one, how even the confidence itself builds in you that you are able to stand in the crowd of different people and you be yourself. You do everything passionately by yourself or passionately with what you call love. Which I like about volunteering. Yes, I never regret myself for volunteering in the world. And what I see right now is just the benefits and far I think the benefits of the World Cup will go ahead. That I never thought of looking at money first as the one or number one priority. I looked at what do I get benefit of myself? How do I get outside my scope of my whole thinking and giving myself to the world that they can accept me? that I can be a better person, or I can do better things, or I can do better work than I was doing at that time. So those are some of the advantages. Mark culture, exchanging values, meeting new friends, you get to meet new friends. You may even get a wife from there. You may even get a boyfriend from there. It depends. You get to travel. We get penny pools, we get to travel here. You may have an invite to move to another country or what. We have a lot of volunteers that are happening around the world. And remember, one experience leads you to another experience in one way or the other. And this is what exactly I have to tell you. I personally have been invited to volunteer in the Euro, that's the, the UEFA, okay? The Euro in Germany have already applied and I'm approved because I had the experience with the World Cup, with my role in the World Cup. It is just enough for me. I've been approved. Yes. Without even taking me through a lot of questioning. It was approved. It is the same thing that you come here. Yes, come as a volunteer. If definitely you are ready to come as a volunteer. Come. Take on the road. Get the experience in the Gulf. Get the experience, the cultures, the Gulf experience. Now, most of the jobs here in the Gulf countries, people are asking the Gulf experience. Let's say, for example, you're out of this country and you don't know how what you call the Gulf experience. What do you think it's going to be? You need a Gulf experience in one way or the other. That is exactly what you need. So, volunteering in itself is going to give you that scope, wider than that scope for you to have the experience in one way or the other, which is going to benefit you. You can still move on and check out the companies. Yes, one on one. Hello, my name is this. I can do this. Please, when you hire me, I'll do this. And when I get out of the country, I can do this. I cannot be able to do this. That's how we portion, tend to build and get the connection in one way or the other. So at the end of it all, you become the Okay? Yes, so for people who are expecting money, don't put money as the first priority if you are going to grow. You never give out the productivity of yourself. That's what I have to do. To you. And you get disappointed in one of them. But if you give in, I'm going to get an extra which I think beyond money. I think for people who are living right now in Qatar, you may have a very big advantage opportunity for that. Unless we don't think about we speak about we talk about our brothers and sisters who are outside the country, but you are in Qatar and you can volunteer. You have enough time. You have some free time. Give it for volunteer. Get that certificate. Get that everything you need. Please, take it on. What else do you need? Take it on. It's enough going to give you and give you an mile, especially if you want to look for something that's a little bit better and better in that life. Hope I've tried to share something. By the way, thank you so much for liking the expression and thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I appreciate. Hi, I will be officially out with what you call the official work. But I'm back and I'm going to give you and I'm going to give you all that you need every single day, every single day, and I'll be updating you. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you've not liked, thank you so much. Please like, comment, and always be more than happy to get back to you. Remember, it's next for the next Creation TV, giving you all the best. You can also check in my other channel, which is called Endless Inspirations 
under Malcolm X TV is called Endless Operation. Remember, we talk about the guidance also. We talk about how life we can do and what you can do to get better answers. By the way, don't forget to subscribe also to Endless Inspirations. Get into what you call my TikTok account at Inspiration TV. There's a lot of things I definitely get to share. I get to talk about. Yes, these are really everyday things that we talk about in life. Okay. This is what exactly that we need to know and we need to understand. Everything we get to do is a step by step, a step by step. And if you really focus at one or the other, don't let anyone step front of where you journey you go. You never know who knows tomorrow. You may be someone else. Who knows today? You may be someone else, which I definitely I pray for every one of you to have whatever you have. Thank you so much for subscribing and thank you so much for supporting. Remember, I'm talking a mix from the next question. See you again in the next video.